my channel Eid Mubarak it's Eid today and I definitely had to record a video um, I asked you guys on Instagram and everyone well majority voted yes if you voted no you don't have to watch this video um anyways it's actually time now and I'm just getting ready and I'm kind of getting a little worried because the sun's going down and I have to take pictures so I might be rushing in this video but I'm gonna try not to I wanted to vlog my Eid with you guys I'm not doing anything special but of course I'm gonna get ready I always get ready on Eid. So I'm gonna film me getting ready. I'm gonna do my makeup with you guys, show you guys my outfit. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, first off for outfit, I have two options. I can either wear this white outfit, which is really simple and cute. It has kind of pearls all over with this, um, I don't know what you would call it. one of the options. And it's by Aisha, super cute. And then, this is my other option. It's by Verda Salim. I think that's the designer's name, I'm pretty sure. I like that it has um, a little bit of detail in the back too. So these are the trousers that go with it. They have like a little bit something on the bottom. I think they're super cute. I'm actually probably gonna go with this outfit because I do have like pink shoes. I mean, this is more like a peachy color, but I'm gonna wear pink shoes with it and hopefully it matches. All right, I'm gonna put this on really quick and I'll see you guys in a minute. I changed in to the kurta. I guess this is more of a kurta than a shirt because it's a little bit loose and I kind of like that style. Um, I'll show you guys the whole thing when I'm like ready. You'll see pictures of me on Instagram anyway. Um, I don't know when this video is going to be going up. I initially, I would hope, I mean I want for it to go up on Eid but if it's going up a couple of days after Eid, I'm sorry. That's just because I got super busy. But you guys can definitely follow me on Instagram because I will be posting pictures of the whole outfit and I'm gonna get it on video after I finish my makeup. First things first, I'm gonna put my hair away from my face. This kurta is actually so beautiful. You know, I actually got this from an exhibition here in Dubai. I think where this lame is based in Karachi. She actually had an exhibition here in Dubai and that's where I got this from and I'm so happy I did because it's absolutely gorgeous. She already moisturized my face. I used my La Mer moisturizer. I'm gonna go on to primer. For primer, I'm just gonna use my Benefit Professional Primer and just put it where I feel like I have open pores. Today I'm actually gonna color correct a little bit. I'm gonna be using the Smashbox color correcting stick. Oh, I guess the color's name is Look Less Tired. I'm just gonna add some around here. I'm going over here. Use my beauty blender and blend that in. I just started getting ready and it's evening time. Uh, that's so bad, but I have an excuse. Yeah, I do. I was, I wanted to make something sweet, you know, since it's Eid for Hussein and I, and I actually made halva. I wanted to like pick the easiest thing. I literally called my mom. Um, at home, mom would always make like two or three things. In the morning, we would honestly start with like uh, halva puri and uh, work our way from there from kheer and whatnot so i was like what what's the easiest thing i can make and she was like um i actually really like this and she was like why don't you just make that it's a bread halva um and i ended up making that and it was so yummy i'll actually insert a picture here okay once i'm done now that i'm done color correcting i blended it all in with my beauty blender i'm gonna go in with my l'oreal foundation this is my favorite drugstore foundation. It's only $10, but I swear this works better than most of the high-end foundations I have. Like always, all product info will be in the description box below. All right, now that the foundation is all on, I'm gonna be moving on to concealer. For concealer, I'm gonna be using two concealers, the Tarte Shape Tape and the NARS Concealer. Actually, a lot of you asked me what shade I use in the Tarte and I use light medium. And for NARS, I use custard. I'm gonna be mixing them because I feel like when I mix them, I just get like more of a bright effect underneath my eyes. 
And now I'm just using my beauty blender and I'm going to blend that into my skin. I like to take whatever is left on my beauty blender and put it on my eyelid as well, just so it gives a nice base before I put eyeshadow. This is something that I just recently bought. Um, it's the blush bar by Benefit Cosmetics and I'm obsessed with this. Um, it has the Hoola bronzer and I love the Hoola bronzer so I've been using that a lot and I love these two blushes. I haven't played with the highlighters as much but honestly this is such a cute and convenient palette. I'm going to be going in with Hoola to kind of contour my cheeks a bit. She's so bad at contouring my nose. But I'm going to attempt to contour my nose a little bit right now. <laughs> now I'm going to set the rest of my face where I didn't contour with um, my Studio Fix Powder. Like underneath my eyes. Alright, time for blush. And for blush, I'm going to be using these two in the Benefit Blush Bar. Do highlighter in the end before moving on to my eyes I'm actually gonna do my lips first because I know what lipstick I want to use first I'm gonna go in with my Mac world lip liner and just kind of uh, define my lips a little bit go in with the crushed liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills this is honestly such a pretty blush pink liquid lipstick. Now that my lipstick is on, I'm going to move on to my eyes. First, I'm actually going to do my eyebrows. So nothing new there. I'm going to be using the Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the color Soft Brown. And just quickly fill them in. Brows done. Today I'm actually really excited to do my eye makeup because I got a new palette and it's so pretty. It's the uh, limited edition Marc Jacobs Coconut Collection. Um, they have like a really pretty uh, white and rose gold pack. Guys, look at these colors. They are so gorgeous, so pretty, and they actually go really well with what I'm wearing today, so this is the perfect time to use this palette. Start off with this color right here. For eyes, I don't want to do anything too heavy. I want to keep them light and simple, but I do want them to have pink in them, and there's really pretty pinks in here, so that's perfect. Go in with this third color right here, which is a little bit more pink, and work that in my crease as well. Alright, so this palette doesn't really have um, a transition brown color, so I'm going to go in with my Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I love, and use this uh, brown right here, which is called Rustic, and kind of work that in my outer corner. Yeah, outer corner. time now and I came back after taking pictures and me and his went out and I realized that my memory card in between somewhere when I was doing my makeup it just uh, didn't finish recording or I don't even know what happened so I really don't want to wash my face and do my makeup all over again because I was literally all the way I mean I think there was like 15 minutes left of footage so I thought I'd just quickly um, go over what I finished doing with my eyes and everything like that. And I'm really sorry, you guys. I don't know what happened to my camera. Just literally stopped recording midway, I guess. So annoying. Anyways, so like you guys can see, I finished doing my makeup. I had already done my, you guys. The only thing I did was I added a highlight. And for my highlighter, I used the Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics. This one right here. Just added it here and on my nose a bit. Where's eyes go? Um, I think where I left off, I was with the Soft Glam Palette. Color Rustic on my eye, in my eyes. I'm in my eyes. On the corner. 
corner of my eyes. Um, and later I went in with the darker color in the Marc Jacobs palette, which is this color right here. And I kind of deepened them up a little bit more. And to finish everything off, I went in with uh, the shimmery kind of pink color and then this like copper brown color and I kind of mixed both of them and applied them on my lid and like you guys can see it is such a beautiful combination I really love the way this look turned out just smudged uh, some brown color under my eyes and then as usual I used let me show you guys the NARS the NARS eye pencil in the color I'll, I'll link this below. I don't know what color it is, but I just use it on my waterline just to kind of make my eyes look even bigger. That's honestly about it. It is not only pretty, but honestly the colors are so easy to blend and they're so, so pretty. I'm so happy I purchased it. That was it for my makeup. Everything else I feel like I did with you guys. I didn't use any um, eyeliner because I do have lashes on. Um, I got lash extensions and I feel like I don't really need eyeliner with this look. I just really like the way it looks right now. Now let's roll the footage of me showing you guys my outfit and being extra as hell outside for no reason. enjoyed this video and enjoyed getting ready with me for Eid. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see pictures of me in this outfit. Um, I don't know if I have already posted them by the time you're watching this or if I'm gonna wait to post them. And do let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me. A lot of you have been asking for a home tour video and I promise I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm gonna do one next month. I'm still waiting on a few things that I wanna change in the apartment. So once I'm done with that, I promise next month I will definitely record a home tour video. But other than that, like, what do you guys like to see? Do you guys like to see me and Hussein going out, getting ready, showing you guys a different places? Like, what is it that you guys wanna see? I love you guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys next week.